Welcome back to Character Select. I'm Tyler, and today I am playing some Kerbal Space Program to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Uh, not quite on time for that, but we're going to do it anyway. We got Jebediah, Bill, and Bob Kerman here in a reproduction of the Saturn V rocket that took our astronauts to the moon. And so we're just going to get into it. So three, two, one, launch. So the first stage is basically just all of this is just fuel and engine just to get us up into space. And we are going to burn directly for the moon rather than circularize the orbit around the Kerbin uh, because that's what Apollo 11 did. They just went straight for it. And they orbited the moon a bit and then fired on back to Earth. Use the heat shield on the command capsule to uh, not die. We're going to pitch over at 275 meters per second. Uh, it's more efficient to or more efficient for your fuel if you don't go straight up and then sideways. You have to go tilt over and do both. So 250, 260, 275. So you pitch over to 90 degrees. We're as close to it as we can get. And then we just sit there and wait until we get into space. So, around 45,000 meters is where we have to stop worrying about atmospheric drag. 70,000 is where it doesn't affect us at all anymore. So if you're trying to re-enter, you want to be below 70,000. Additionally, if you're trying to go to the moon, you want it to be in like about this position when you launch, because it makes for the uh, most straightforward fire to the moon uh, trajectory. You just launch, generally point towards the moon, and uh, you get up there. All right, so the atmospheric drag should be lessening right about now. And we're picking up a lot of speed. So I want to aim at this point directly at our target. And that should bring the orbit somewhere around here. Which should just get us intersecting with the moon right on schedule when we hit like right about there so uh, stage one should be ending shortly three two one cut off and we're gonna cut the engines fire the stage separator engage thrusters for monopropellant and Separate the stages. Monopropellant thrusters off. Throttle engines up. And oop, there we go. We got a nice intercept with the moon. So just want to tweak that a bit, get that down a little lower, and we want to be about there. That is a little too low. Oop, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I want to stabilize here. We 
when I say stabilize, I mean stop moving, but okay. There we go. Just time warp a little to freeze the physics simulation. What are you doing? There we go. Alright, so we are going to jettison that. Uh, the emergency capsule separator rocket, which they use to separate the command pod from the rest of the rocket if there's like a catastrophic explosion starting down here. Uh, we have never had to use it that I recall. I could be wrong on that. Anyway, we are going to perform a few bits and pieces here. So we're going to deploy the fairing. We are going to decouple here. And then we are going to target the crew hatch on the landing module. And then we are going to gently rotate. Just gently rotate. Almost aligned with the docking port. Just a little more speed. Held that down just a little too. Alright, and we are locked. Mono propellant thrusters on, and just thrust gently towards the lunar landing module. which is annoyingly rotating, so that's great. Stop that. Okay. This should be fine, but I want to... Nope, this way. Thrust laterally. Uh, rotate this direction. And we should be good to connect. Whoops. Uh, that's the one problem with this game, is that they don't make docking very easy. But we got plenty of time to get this right. So I want you and you. Stop. Aim at target. And stop and thrust towards target. So rotate towards target. Come on! God damn it! Jim, can you please just fast forward through this? Because this is a bit of a ball ache right now.
Like, this is really annoying. F5. We're gonna quick save this bitch. And uh, slow down a little bit. Thrust downward. With all due respect, sir. I believe this is gonna be our finest hour. Downward. This could be the worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. Gently now. Gently. Come on. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and then down. down. Nope, down, 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 down. And stop. Forward and downward to the right. Stop that. Forward and up, please. There we go. Finally, Jesus, docking in this game is really finicky. Anyway, so we have successfully connected the command module with the landing module. And we're not even anywhere near the moon. Plenty of time. Uh, all that did mess with our perhaps. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just going to fast forward until we are in the moon's sphere of influence. Oh god, we're going to have to dock again by the launch from the moon. No! Okay, 
So I think I want to circularize this orbit around 9,000, because I believe 5... No, I, I, yeah, I want like a uh, seven thousand. So. No, to burn normal that way. All right, that's about right, and then we want to. Circularize at that point. Go that way. Circularize. Right down. That way. We got plenty of fuel, so we can figure it out at that point. So I think what we want to do is target our maneuver node. Yeah, we have 500, we need 534 meters per second of delta V. We have 733, so we have enough to take care of us. So we're just going to rotate around towards our maneuver node and get ready to thrust. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to burn retrograde once we hit... Uh... No. Stick with the plan. Actually, you know what? Burn radial in right now. Just to bring this out, and then I will burn it to periaps. So scrap the maneuver node. We don't need it. There we go. Make it nine. There we go. So we have an infinity time to apoaps. One hour to periaps when we will burn retrograde to capture us in orbit around the moon. I think uh, Bill, Bob, and uh, Jebediah are having a fun time here. You can see the stars. I can't see the moon from any of these, unfortunately. But they'll see it soon enough. Uh, also, space debris is a real problem, folks. Anyway, so we are going to dive down close to the moon. Really close to the moon. In fact, so close to me that I'm just going to fixate there. Pretty sure there are no mountains this high on the moon. But one can never be too careful. So we are at the periaps now, so we're just going to burn retrograde to bring... What? It's considering the... It's in reverse, so I have to burn prograde while I'm attached to this thing. I get up. Good for now. Alright. Sorry. We're gonna reload that, because that was dumb. So, prograde this time.
And we're not going to go full throttle because this thing is uncontrollable. Okay. And... Who's going to start thrusting now? Bring these numbers down. Thrust up a little bit more. About 25%. Thirty percent. Stop that. So we want like about that percent of thrust. Just gently bring our orbit in. bring it on down. Yeah, really burning through that mono. Get this down to about 10. Oh, that's about where we are. So we want to burn retrograde now. Or retrograde in um, reference to the command module. Could command this from here, I think. Nope. Alright, so once we get to the Apoaps, we're just going to raise our orbit just a little bit. Just so we're not crashing into the moon. And cool. So just bring that up a bit. We got so much fuel to play with right now. I can basically do what I want. Alright, perfect. So, disable that. I hope we have uh, enough. So, I want to make sure you... You need as much mono propellant as I can give you, so I want to transfer... Nope, don't want to do that. transfer materials again. It's been a while. Might not be able to transfer into here. Which is a problem. Kinda need that in there. I don't know why they would burn that first. Oh well, I will just have to uh, somehow survive. Uh, 
So, transfer crew. We are going to send Bill into the landing module. And we are going to send Bob into the landing module. Leaving uh, Jebediah Kerman, uh, the pilot, uh, who represents Michael Collins, to stay in the command module as uh, the other two descend down to the moon. So we decouple, switch control to this. Uh, I don't believe I have any control surfaces. That is, ooh, that is going to be a problem. All right. So just gently nudge us that way. And again. I need to be out of the way of this thing, so I'm just going to fast forward just a little bit. Then we are going to make landfall. This crater here. Actually, I want to say like right there. That looks like a nice. And that crater there, this one here, we're going to make landfall there. So, I want to set up a maneuver here. Locked. Oh, it's because I don't have a pilot? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, all we have to do is when we get there, we just burn retrograde. They got tons of fuel because we still have fuel in this thing. Let me warp the way I want, game. Sit here and wait for forever. So we are going to rotate until we are pointing retrograde, keeping an eye on our mono propellant. I should have locked that, but whatever. All right, and then we burn retrograde. the engines. Uh, we're going to burn a bit more when we get a little bit lower and then we're going to cut this away for landing. So when we hit about 3,000 or so meters, we're going to do a burn. And cut the engine away and then prepare this thing for landing. Now, of course, this isn't what Apollo 11 did, because they jettisoned this thing long before landing, but uh, I'm taking the easy way out because I have the fuel to do so. Um, I wish they had included a control 
thing in here, but whatever. So I believe once we get over this cliff here, we will see our landing zone. Like, right there. Cool. We can uh, start our landing or descend burn now. And three, two, one. So slow down. Decouple this. We're going to engage this engine. And we're going to put down the landing legs. We're going to point retrograde. Do not have a lot of this left, which is annoying. Whereas in the actual moon and landing, uh, they had like a second of fuel left or so. So, and three, two, The game very nearly got me because I switched back to sea level mode instead of, like, actual above ground mode, so I thought it was like 3,000 meters away. That would have been bad. So, we have landed on the moon. We're going to turn on the lights. Lights on. Take a crew report. Boring. Um... We are going to extend the ladder, and uh, the actual moon landing, they didn't immediately leave the spacecraft. They spent a day inside, or so, um, preparing to go out to the moon. So we're just going to run some experiments, some sort of mystery goos. Then, I think Bill Kerman, you're going out. This game is flawless. Um, come on. Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> there's your one small step for man, and <laughs> one giant leap for Kerbal Kind. You right there, buddy? He looks like he's fine. Uh, do not remove your helm. That's a pro tip for you. If you ever go to the moon, don't take your helmet off. So he's going to get up. They are going to run around and do their experiments and whatnot. Plant a, no, don't remove the helmet. I meant plant a flag. See, even the game lets you know that. They warn you, don't do it. Uh, so we have planted our flag. And... Cool. Uh... Oh, great. Switch to that. Bob, you get out and you have some fun too. Wee, wee, I'm flying. 
Uh, Apollo 11 astronauts did not have these as well. They could not fly around on the moon. We also don't have a rover or any um, experiment kits to set up. So, we have gotten all our crap. So we are going to just collect our data. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, barometer data is useless because there's no pressure. Uh, this is the gravity one. That one we can take. Temperature, I mean, whatever. Seismic one, that's pretty useful. And the cosmic ray sort of mystery goo thing. Sure. And just restore that. Excellent. Alright, back on the ship, dudes. It's time to go home. Uh, there we go. Switch to you. So now we have to burn off of the moon, align ourselves with the command module, and redock. Now, this was the point in the actual Apollo 11 that was the most dangerous, and actually Richard Nixon had a speech prepared uh, to basically eulogize um, the astronauts if they did not complete this successfully. Um, and in fact, they would have a um, ship's chaplain consign them to the deep perform a burial at sea uh, while they would still be alive in the lunar lander module hurtling through space um, an awful fate to be sure but we're going to try and get these dudes home so we got a huge amount of fuel not a lot of mono propellant but I think I think the engine the engine is vectored, so we can deal with that. So what we want to do is we want to get up to the height of that, wait for it to come around, and then dock with it. So we want to burn 90 degrees in this direction to just follow that orbit. So uh, we are going to engage thrusters. It actually is everything on board. Lights off. And launch in three, two, one. And then we aim directly that way. And basically we can just burn sideways at this point. Uh, probably want to go up a little bit more right now, though. Oops. Come on. Ew. Ew. It's all crooked. Well, we have fuel to play with, so... We will circularize once we get to that point, so. Jim, can you just fast forward through all of this um, bookkeeping, please?
All right, and we're back. This is the closest this thing is going to get to us before passing us, so we need to slow ourselves down to get near it. So what we're going to do is gently turn warp off and then gently thrust this way. Retrograde to our orbit, but in the direction of our target. That should bring this down. Oh, sorry. We have a target speed thing, so we're going to... I forgot to switch to that. So we want to be going zero in regards to our target. That is this direction here. Should have enough fuel for this, but it could be tight. So, we're going to get here, and then we need to thrust really hard to cancel out our speed. So, I'm going to quick save there. So, once we get to, like, right around here, there is our buddy Jebediah in the other ship. Close that distance just a little bit more, and then we have to do some burning. No, I don't want, I want you to do target, thank you. So we want to be moving at zero meters per second relative to our target. Or so. Then we want to thrust towards our target. But, you know, I think... Where is he? I think it would be better if we switch to the other ship. Because it still has mono propellant. So we're going to switch over here. Uh, Jebediah Kerman is going to come in for the land, the capture, because he has all of the fuel. So we need to set the lander as the target. We need to burn retrograde in reference to the target. So just thrust the slope down. And then we point at the target. Alright, there we go. So, we got a meter or so per second heading towards our target. I don't think anybody is going... Yeah, alright, so orbits are fine. So we are approaching our target here. Our closest... Uh, okay. So just going to... Change that a bit. So, turn that on. We're going to slow down again. In fact, we can just. Uh, 
Burn just a little bit that way, and then burn towards the target. an intersection at 1.5. We just want to keep that going this way. You know what? There we go. Got tons of fuel. We just have to get in close. 1.5, 1.4, 3, 1.2. Alright, so we're that close. I want to burn retrograde again to slow us down in regards to target. And then burn towards the target. Don't worry, guys. Jebediah's coming for ya. We're gonna get us home, and we're gonna have first thing is cheeseburger or Kerbal burger, whatever Kerbal people eat. You don't see like cows or anything on Kerbin, uh, which makes you think. Like, if these are the like little green men who like abduct aliens and stuff, do you think they're just after like our cows for like hamburgers? Like, they saw, like, a McDonald's and were like, man, we want that. We are actually kind of running a bit low on mono propellant. Nine kilometers. Come on. We're getting there. <sighs> Slowly but surely, we're getting there. You can see him right there. So I'm just going to keep inching closer until the uh, number starts going up again. There we go. Okay. So. And burn towards the target. All this would be avoided if uh, I was a bit more careful with my orbits, but whatever. So we're going to head on in a little bit further. What's our closest? 0.8. Ugh. Oh what? There we go. That should get us close in. Four hundred, three hundred, all right. Okay, it's a ton of fuel. Oh, that's how you transfer out. Fantastic. Mm. 
There they are. Alright, we need... Nice parking orbit. There we go. Ooh, and a nice orientation too, so I'm gonna F5 that. F5 that. Cool. Alright, now we just need to uh, dock with them. So, target. And then I want to move this way. And forward. It's a bit of a challenge playing this without mods, because there's like a docking alignment indicator mod that you can get. There's... Ah, there we go. Wait, no, that's still not what I wanted. Anyway. To cancel my velocity... Uh, this direction. Closing in, drifting that way. All right, and we're just inching forward. Still got tons of fuel. Do caps lock. It's just nice, a bit more gentle thrusting. Since it's so light at this point, I think it should be easier to capture. Hopefully, we don't break any of the antenna. Those are expensive. We're gonna be jettisoning the thing anyway. Uh, on the normal Apollo 11, they left the uh, the gold part on the moon. There we go. Come on. There we go. Cool. Docked. So we are going to transfer what we can in oxidizer and liquid fuel. So out, out. I believe that's as much fuel as we can get into this thing. Yo, know, we had an absolute shit ton of fuel left. Alright, so we then transfer the crew. Bob, you go here. Review data. Can I like transfer the data? Oh, well, whatever. I mean, we have zero points for it anyway, so we're just gonna send that data back and then transfer the remaining dude. What is the. Uh, I haven't actually taken a look in the inside of this thing. Boy, that is small. Cozy, some might say. Oh. Oh, we are burning through power. That's okay, we'll get it back when we run the engines. Um, so transfer the remaining crew, Bill Kerman, into there. And we are going to burn for home when we get to here. So we want to burn prograde. To 
get there, and then once we get out of the moon sphere of influence, we burn to uh, land or to be recaptured by Earth or Kerbin. So that point at maneuver node. So the burn time is 27 seconds, so generally when you do a maneuver node, you want to do um, half the time before and half the time after, so we wait until 15 seconds or so, 14 seconds before the actual node uh, to make our burn. So we just float around the moon. See you on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> and we are approaching our burn. Our Mooner Orbit Exit Burn. In a few seconds. Two, one, burn. Ooh, that is a that's a steep cliff right there. What is that? Wow. That's an interesting formation that I don't think I've seen before. Anyway. We're just about done. Excellent. So now we just wait to get out into uh, this mooner out of the sphere of influence of the moon. I am going to go ahead and try and transfer out the rest of the fuel in this thing if it's. Alright, so it has none left. Excellent. Please sort through it inside the thing. That's cool. Anyway. I hope that wasn't burning while I was doing that. That would have been annoying. Anyway. So, we just speed up time until we get away from the moon. Goodbye, moon. Maybe we'll be back someday. Uh, at least until Apollo 15, and then never again. Almost. Okay, and then we just burn retrograde. We are captured by the Earth. Now, you want to make sure you don't have too steep or shallow of an entry. Either one has its dangers. If you're too shallow, you will just skip off the Earth and just keep orbiting around lower and lower until you finally land, but you'll probably run out of like oxygen, uh, food, that sort of thing. If you're too steep, uh, compression heating will uh, vaporize you. go. That should have us solid. Uh, we are going to, unfortunately, 
Can I transfer electric charge? You can. That is amazing. So we are going to transfer out as much electric charge as we can into the batteries of this thing. I think that's enough power to get us back. Plenty and plenty of power. So we're going to undock. That would be warped. So undock with the undock. Thank you. Now this should burn up in the atmosphere. I think. Should do. Uh, the moon came by and grabbed us again. We we're fine. So. Don't think we need... Well, we're just going to keep the fuel until we get down to Earth. What is that? Oh, there's the lander. And it is going to be entering first. Already losing altitude, so I am. I'm gonna do a quick suicide burn. Just to bring us down a little bit, slow us down a little bit. Ooh, and then we need to uh, jettison this decouple. And then... Uh, did I? No, I did not decouple our heat shield, so we should be good. That blade ore is uh, holding strong. Should make fall in the ocean here on the dark side during nightfall. Near the desert launch site. No, not near it. Let's keep us pointing retrograde so that the heat shield takes the brunt of this. I'm annoyed that I cannot. This docking. Is that like that's just like on us, right? Well, whatever.
Uh, we are still going pretty damn fast, and as soon as we hit about 30,000 feet, uh, meters, we're going to be going quite a bit uh, hotter. Surface. Yeah, surface speed is that. Ah, uh, yeah, we came in a little too shallow. It should have burned a little bit longer. So we're going to have to do an orbit before we um, make our landing. So I'm just going to turn that off. Yeah, sure, whatever. Can we leave get rid of this ring? Thank you. So we're just going on one orbit. That lander should be fine. Then we just loop around. Alright guys, this is the real deal right now. Yep, 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 we got it. Isn't that cool? That'd be horrific to uh, witness. But we are going to make landfall, unfortunately, on the land. Wait, where are we? Are we still not? God damn it. We still might need one more orbit. our height. Uh, yeah, we're going to need one more. God damn it. Alright, guys. It's been a long, long road. But you're almost there. Where do we think we're gonna land this time? Let's see. Not near the Kerbal Space Center, that's unfortunate. But oh well. Sail up. Alright, so we are back in the atmosphere one more time. That number is dropping. Oops, turn that on. It's a good thing we have so much ablator on our heat shield. All right, we got it. Apple Apps is below 70,000, so we are go for landing. Uh, it looks like it's going to be in this ocean here. Good deal east of the Kerbal Space Center.
these guys are excited. I know I would be. Like, you want to talk about a long road trip in a small car? gonna bleed off a few thousand more meters per second and then we can fire the chutes. So are we gonna miss this land or are we gonna land on the land? Hard to say. shield is almost halfway gone, but we are just about slow enough to not have to worry about it anymore. We are about to hit the thickest part of the atmosphere, which will slow us down the most. There we go. Bring us in nice and good. I think we are going to hit the land. Actually, we might make the coast. Yep, we're going to be right in the water off the edge of the coast of this island here. The drogue shoots. Slowing us down, and we'll deploy at 5,000 meters. Just uh, deploy these as well. It's not a very good orientation. Are you sure there wasn't one more? Whatever. Of course, there is. Isn't much that can go wrong at this point. The chutes could fail and they could crash into the water and die, but I think we've got this on lockdown. Just very slowly waiting for them to land. 3,000 meters. Go any faster. I don't want to cut shoots because that'd be bad. Almost. Two thousand meters. Still just about like a mile up. Like even now, this is like a mile up. Okay. 
1,000 meters and closing. Eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred. And our heroes, Jebediah, Bob, and Bill Kerman, not related, have returned from their epic journey to the moon and back. I, yes, I did transfer to science. Regardless, uh, so thank you all very much for watching. Click that like button down below if you want to subscribe. Uh, do that too. Um, and... Happy Apollo 11 anniversary, y'all. Bye-bye.